G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, we're gonna be heading out to my cichlid club and hopefully sell some of my fish in the auction. I'm gonna be showing you each lot of fish and what my intended start price is on each lot, part of the auction process, as well as what I eventually sold each lot of fish for. Also, hopefully you can tell that the audio quality in this video has improved. I've received some feedback over the last few weeks about poor audio quality in my videos, so I've gone out and purchased a microphone. I really do appreciate that feedback, guys, because I want to continue to produce better content for you. And guys, I should point out how the auction structure works. So the auction goes up by $1 increments up to $20. Once $20 is reached, it goes up by $2 until we reach $50. Once the auction goes up to $50, the increments go up by $5 all the way up to $100. Once $100 is reached, it's every man for himself. So anyone can call out any amount they wish to go up by. So if I call out $110, the next person can call out $111 and beat me by $1. Ultimately though, you wanna be the first person to reach $50 because after $50, the increments go up by $5 each bid. You can't lower that bidding. Although you could increase it by calling out an extra $10 to try and knock out the other person you're bidding against. Anyway, I've got a lot to do today, so I better get cracking with it and catch some fish and go to the auction. Okay guys, so we've got the fish all bagged up. They're all ready to go. And I've labeled, the, labeled them with my reserves and the amounts of fish in each bag. So here you can see we've got six albino bristlenose. I've put a reserve on of $20. So these are the first bristlenose that I'm selling. We've also got more bristlenose. So I've got six long fin bristlenose in this bag and I'm selling them for $20 as well. So pre pretty cheap, but I'm pretty sure that uh, people are going to bid on those. Hopefully we'll get a bit more for them than just $20. And then we've got, surprise, surprise, 30 plus and guppies. And I put them at $20. So usually when I do this, uh, they've sold for almost $40 when I've put a reserve of $20. Uh, they've been quite popular. And you can obviously see there is way more than 30 in this bag. Next fish I'm selling, we've got six Neolamprologus brevis sunspot. Of a reserve of $40. You can see there's uh, they're a nice size in there and they look beautiful. Beautiful brevis shape. Nice little shelly. And lastly, we've got four Lamprologus Ocelatus Gold in this bag. And I've got a reserve of, for them of $40. So hopefully they'll do well as well. We'll see how they go. And that's it. That's all the fish ready to go. So all I've got to do now is put some padding in this side of the box. So the bags don't move around while I'm driving to the club and that should be right. Hey guys, we're at the club and the auction's about to start in a couple of minutes. So uh, we'll get in there and um, hopefully the fish do well. So guys, it's the next morning. Um, I'm having my coffee, <laughs> trying to process what happened last night. Uh, I should point out just before I get into the details that with this club, you can put in five lots of fish per person. Uh, there are some clubs out there that only let you put in three lots of fish per person. And each lot has to be unique. It can't be the same species of fish. So I can't put two lots in of my brevis. I have to have unique fish for each lot. You can, however, put normal colored bristlenose and albino colored bristlenose in. That's as two separate lots, that's okay. But the species have to be different, basically. Anyway. So it's the next morning, I'm just trying to process what happened last night and it was really surprising. Uh, this occasionally happens with these auctions. Sometimes they are a buyer's market and sometimes they are a seller's market. And last night was definitely a buyer's market. And so what I mean by that is like your bread and butter cichlids, the cichlids that generally sell really well, like your electric yellows, your electric blues, your Malawi peacocks, those beautiful colorful fish, they weren't selling at all. A lot of them were getting passed in or selling well below the reserve price. So considering that, as well as that there were about 80 to 90 lots of fish in the entire auction, me and Adam had 10 lots between us and all our lots were at the end of the night. Uh, it was quite frustrating to have to sit through that because a lot of people had already left by the time our lots started coming through the auction. So we really did think we were gonna be bringing our fish home. However, we were quite surprised and I was pleasantly surprised. So I'll let you watch the videos now, the five videos of all my lots getting sold at the auction and you'll see what I mean. 47, 
So here's the receipt from last night. It shows me what fish I sold, how much I sold them for, and the commission the club made on my lots of fish. So the Lamprologus Ocelotus Gold, you saw there were four in the bag. I had the reserve set at $40, and they went for $48. I actually thought they were gonna go above 50, considering the strategy people usually have when you're approaching the $50 mark with an auction. So they sold for $48, buy I got a pretty good deal there. My albino bristle nose, the short fin variety. These were late in the night. I had seen a lot of bags get passed in, a lot of bags going under reserve. I thought my bag was gonna get passed in considering how late in the night it was by this stage. They made reserve, $20. Uh, lesson learnt with that one is, I probably should have increased the reserve to $30 on that one because the bidder put his hand up straight away, got the bag for $20. There you go, happy days for the, for the bidder. Next one, uh, my Enla Guppies. Sold the reserve was $20. I had more than 30 in the bag. Uh, there were a couple lots of Enla Guppies in there and I didn't think they were gonna go quite well. Generally though, when I have sold Enla Guppies at the auction before, they're approaching the $50 mark when there's about 30 in the bag or over 30 in the bag in this instance. This was the worst night for the Enla Guppies. We're talking $32. Uh, still quite good, you know, they're just guppies. They're just sitting in the tank, basically doing nothing. The big surprises though. <laughs> Uh, my my Neolamprologus Brevis Sunspot. I was sure I was bringing these guys home. And uh, yeah, $70 from a reserve of 40 for six of them. Uh, really surprised at that. Adam was really surprised as well. Um, I've got quite a few breeding still. So I'm happy about that, but I am not gonna get that price all the time. The auctions do fluctuate. Uh, that was surprising. I I'm not sure I'll ever get that again, to be quite honest with you guys, but happy with the $70. Um, and the, obviously the even bigger surprise was my common coloured bristlenose, but the long fin variety. I had six in the bag. I had the reserve set at 20. I knew that they would go for a lot more than that. And the auctioneer did as well. If you watch the video, you notice he started the reserve price at $50. He knew they were gonna go for more than that. So I think he helped me out there at getting the price to $75. Can't believe it because as you've seen in my videos, I've got heaps of them. Uh, if I had the albino long fin bristlenose, I think they would have sold for even more. 
Uh, stoked about that. Again, I don't think I'm gonna always reach the $75 mark for six common colored long fin bristlenose, but it gives me some confidence, doesn't it? So I'm um, really stoked about that, as you can tell. Uh, so overall, I made $245 last night. The club made a commission of $24.50 from all my sales. So I took home $220.50. So stoked about that, really surprised, especially considering how slow the night was going. So guys, for the rest of the day, I'm just gonna sit in the fish room, drink the rest of my coffee this morning, and just have a relaxing day. I'm quite tired, didn't get home until after 1 a.m., woke up at around seven, and yeah, I'm just gonna sit in here and process what happened last night. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. If you did, please hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up now. Thanks heaps for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.